Welcome to QuickBooks Online for Nonprofits. My name is Ufuma Ogaga. I am the owner of Goshen Bookkeeping and Consultant. I am a financial controller and a QuickBooks Pro Advisor, helping nonprofits to increase profitability one mission at a time. In this tutorial, I will show you how to receive payment on an invoice in QuickBooks Online. Let's get started. When you receive funds for an outstanding invoice, you need to apply the funds to the open invoice in QuickBooks Online to close out that invoice. If you don't use a receive payment transaction against an invoice when you receive funds, but record a deposit or a sales receipt transaction instead, you will end up overstating your accounts receivable on your balance sheet and overstating your revenue on your income statements. To receive payment in QuickBooks Online on an invoice, click the Quick Create Plus icon, then select Receive Payments. This is the Receive Payment screen. In the Pay Ye field, select the customer name with the open invoice. In my example, I am going to apply payment to Servant Keeper invoice that I created before. If you cannot remember the customer name but remember the invoice number, you can click on Define by Invoice Number to locate that particular customer with the open invoice. Select or enter your payment date. Select or enter your payment method. You can enter credit card, check, cash. I am going to use check for my example. In the reference number field, enter the check number. In the deposit to field, leave it as undeposited funds if you plan to deposit this payment along with other payments received or you could select the appropriate bank account if this payment is being deposited by itself. Undeposited funds is a QuickBooks generated account that mirrors what happens in real life from the time you receive a payment from a customer to when you go to the bank to deposit the funds. Think of this account as an in transit to my bank account. I will leave mine as undeposited funds. Under the Outstanding Transaction section, you can also find or locate the invoice number in that field. Check the box next to the invoice that you want to pay or apply the payment to. The payment column will show the full amount of the invoice as well as the amount received box at the top will also show the same amount. You can edit any one of these boxes to apply only a partial payment to this invoice. In the memo field, add any special memo from the physical check or any payment confirmation receipt. In the attachment box, you can upload a copy of the check received or a copy of the payment receipt that was received. You can also print out this payment screen to use as a deposit slip to physically go to your bank to make the deposit. Once you have completed everything on this screen, you can click on the save and new button to save this transaction and add more or you can click on save and close to close out of the screen. That is how to receive payments on an invoice in QuickBooks Online. Thank you for watching.